With respect to time, then it is called as uniform velocity. That means if you are starting moving from one place, let this is the position one, okay, and at position two, okay, but traveling from here to here, let your velocity is like hundred kilometer per hour, okay. So this is the second position, okay. From third position P three, here again we like check. Your velocity is same, hundred kilometer per hour. In fourth position also we take same velocity, which is hundred kilometer per hour. So your velocity is changing here? No, na? No. Right? Yes. If it is not changing, that means it remains constant. Okay. So see here we have. This is the first instant, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth instant we have for all the time. Velocity is remains same. Okay, sixty kilometer per hour, sixty kilometer per hour for all the points. So we will get straight line, okay, and which is parallel to the x-axis, or we can say which is parallel to the time axis. Then it is called as it is called as uniform velocity. Okay, <laughs> understood. So by checking the diagram itself, if the Graph, okay, the line that we have plot, which is parallel to time axis against velocity, okay, then it is uniform velocity. Understood? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay, velocity diagram for uniform acceleration. If acceleration is there, that means velocity is changing, whether it may increase or it may decrease. So if it is increasing, so we must have that positive slope. Okay, so see here on first uh, like instant velocity is eight meter per second. On second instant velocity becomes sixteen kilometer per second. On third instant it becomes twenty four kilometer uh, sorry meter per second. On fourth instant it becomes thirty two. So see each time it is increases by eight, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so it is uniform positive acceleration. You can okay because it is it gives positive slope. It gives positive slope, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So we can draw the graph for the same also, like zero to zero on both axes, time as well as velocity. So first part will be here, second, third, and and so on as we like discuss and we did already in last class right yes sir yes uh, you can take a screenshot for the same um just take for screenshot for that velocity time graph of uniform velocity just take a screenshot beta done Yes, sir. Okay. Now, next. Over here. Second. Done? Yes, sir. And these are the points. So can you show it again? And these are the points. Just take a third scale sort for velocity time graph for uniform acceleration. <laughs> Done. Now we will discuss equations of motion. So we have three equations of motion, right? First equation we have it is as no 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 v equals to u plus a t. Okay, here v is final velocity, final velocity. U is what initial velocity. Initial 
A is what? Acceleration. T is what? Time taken. Okay, we will have again S. S is displacement. Okay, so the equation of motion gives relation between all these five points. Understood? Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. So now we will learn how to derive this equation. So we're going to derive first equation of motion. So I'm writing here derivation for derivation of first equation of motion. Okay. So we know what is the first equation of motion? It is V equals to U plus AT, right? We have to derive that beta. Okay. Okay, everyone, keep replying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so first we write we have. What do we have? We have acceleration formula. Acceleration formula. What is acceleration formula? It is A equal no. V. Yes, A equals to V minus U divided by T, right? Yes. yes sir. Change, in, change in velocity divided by time. Change in velocity divided by time. Okay. This is nothing but the acceleration. Okay. Arush, reduce the audio. Who beta? Okay. So I'm just transferring that T to other side. So as a transfer of rule, we know if it is in denominator, if you transfer to other side, it will go to numerator, right? So what we will get? Yes, sir. V minus U equals to AT, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to transfer that negative U to other side. Okay. So, and we know according to the rule of transfer, negative becomes positive, right? So it will become V equals to U plus AT, right? And this is nothing but our first equation. You can pick. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. So it's easy or quite easy? So it's easy. Yes. Uh, wait a second, beta. I'm just... Uh, wait, wait. Yes, yes, it is correct. Just write it down. Done. Oh. Done, sir. Okay, any doubt here? No, sir.
Okay, so now we will learn the second equation of motion. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So, derivation of second equation of motion. So, anyone have any idea what is the second equation of motion? No, sir. No, sir. I have written already, no? I have written already beta over here. Oh, where? Wait. It is as uh, as equals to u t plus half of a t square. No, no, no. I wrote only one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now, what, did you ask, ask, uh, what is the second equation of motion? S equals to u t plus half of a t square. Okay. Sir, can you repeat the question? I didn't understand. Uh, what is the second equation of motion? I asked that. Second equation of motion, sir. Yeah, yeah. What is it, sir? We are gonna understand. See, this is the first equation of motion. V equals to u plus at. Okay. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the first equation of motion. Now we're gonna discuss second equations of motion. How to derive that? So, like, what are these equations of motion used for? Uh, suppose if you want to calculate acceleration, so you have to use that. Okay. Yes. Sir, for uh, huh? finding acceleration, we have to use change in velocity by time. Uh, velo uh, time, right? See, here we have first equation we just derived. It is V equals to U plus AT, right? Yes, sir. This is for motion. So if, yeah, yeah. If here we have V is what? Final velocity. Final velocity. U is what? U equals to initial velocity. Initial right? velocity. Yes. Then A is what? Acceleration. T is what? Time taken. Right? Yes. So if yes, you sir. can, if only any three values are given, so you can calculate the fourth one. Any three are given, so you can calculate fourth one, right? Is yes. it or not? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so these are like uh, used in order to, uh, you know, calculate either final velocity or initial velocity or acceleration or time taken. Now, by using second equation, we can calculate, you know, uh, distance also. Okay, so we have second equation of motion. I'm going to write here first. Second equation of motion is. So is velocity and speed the same thing? Uh, velocity and speed, if both are taking place in a same direction, in a straight line path, then yes, both are same. But if path is not straight, so they are different. Okay, sir. Okay, yes. Now, any doubt? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. So we'll move further then. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Now we will discuss second equation of motion. So second equation of motion is it is S equals to U T plus half of A T square that we had to derive. Okay. Here S is what? Displacement. Displacement. Okay. U is what? We already discussed. Initial velocity. Initial 
Velocity. Velocity. You have the derivation in your syllabus, na or no? Uh, I don't think so. Sir, sir we sir. don't have it, sir. This second. Okay, so you one. okay? So you can just do remember, uh, like all the three equations only. Okay. So I'm going to write. This is the first equation. Uh, sorry, the second equation. Third, I'm going to uh, going to write here. Third. Third is we have v square equals to u square plus two a s and first equation. First equation is first equation is uh, we just derive v equals to u plus a t. Okay, so these are the three equation you had to remember always. Okay, because it may ask to solve numericals based on that. Okay, so I want you had to take your like syllabus. What is uh, like left there in this chapter? Huh? Just a second. Yes. Uh, we have this. Huh? Yes, sir. We have this in our textbook. You have, no? Yes, sir. We have this. Yes. So you must be having numerical based on that. Yes, sir. We have. Yes. Okay. That's why these formulas becomes very important. Okay. So they are equations of motion. Okay. Yes, they are. Yes. So then can you explain the second one is the second one? The questions of motion. Okay. See, if you have beta, see if you want to calculate displacement, S is what displacement, right? So for that, you must have initial velocity and the time plus you have to add like a half of AT square. So here U is initial velocity. Okay. Initial. He yes. is time taken okay maybe initial velocity is zero maybe zero also sometimes okay then a is acceleration okay and s is better displacement okay sir. so we have like five variables here if out of this any four you have you can calculate the first or like distance, whatever it, you can like uh, derive. If you have four variables known, so you can calculate fifth one. It may be time, it may be displacement, it may be like uh, displacement made nothing but the distance from linear straight line path. It may be you can calculate initial velocity also, or maybe acceleration or displacement, whatever. Okay, depend on the question what is given there. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Any more doubt now? No, sir. Oh. Okay. Now, what is next beta there? In your textbook. The. Um, uh, so we have uniform circular motion. Huh? Uniform circular motion after that. Okay, so circular motion and okay, circular motion where okay, so we'll discuss okay. circular motion. Circular so, motion and then okay. uniform circular. Yeah. Okay, so. So we have rate of change of velocity also. Rate of change of velocity is nothing but acceleration beta. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. yes. Sir. Okay.
ओके सर्कुलर मोशन ठीक तो आई हैव टू ड्रॉ फर्स्ट सर्कुलर पाथ है सपोज दिस इज द सर्कुलर पाथ बेटा ओके सो हियर वी हैव सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कुलर पाथ दिस इज सेंटर राइट इज इट ऑन नॉट यस सर यस सर इफ सपोज एंड दिस इज द सर्कुलर पाथ यस सर सर्कुलर इफ सपोज ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग अलोंग विद द सर्कुलर then it is called yes, a circular motion okay sir ओके इसके लिए विजिबल क्लियरली नाउ यस सर यस सर्कुलर मोशन मींस इफ ऑब्जेक्ट मूव्स अलोंग विद द सर्कुलर पाथ ओके सर्कुलर पाथ मींस इट मस्ट हैव द सरकमफेरेंस एंड द सेंटर राइट इज इट यस सर यस सो इफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग अलोंग विद द सर्कुलर पाथ दैट मींस इट इज अ सर्कुलर मोशन यू आर जस्ट चेंजिंग पोजीशन ना राइट It is changing position. Yes. 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 But yeah, the same thing here. If we have to apply, if the object moves along with circular path and travels equal distance in equal interval of time, then it is called as uniform circular motion. Okay, sir. Done. Very easy. Okay. Now I have some questions. Have you wrote everything? 
Yes, sir. From the screen? Okay. Now I have one question. If suppose object moves from here, okay, here, and again it moves like total circular path and reaches over there only. So initial and final point will be the same, right? Yes, sir. Velocity. So in, yeah, in that case, not velocity. In that case, displacement may be zero, beta. Sir, it will be zero, right? Yeah, yes, but sir, if it is coming at starting yeah, point. Only. But suppose if it is moving from here and stop over here, then okay, suppose object start from moving from here and stop here, then it is not zero, na? Is it or not? Sir, yes, if sir, you stop in the middle, then the displacement changes. Yeah, so maximum displacement in circular path is equals to maximum displacement I'm discussing is equals to the diameter of the circular path. It will be the maximum displacement, right? And minimum displacement may be zero. Means there is no displacement. Okay. okay. And suppose if you want to like uh, uh, calculate dis uh, what uh, distance. So distance, what is the circumference of the circle formula? Two pi r, na? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay. So it is two pi r. Wait a second. Let me write here. Okay. Here we have two pi r. Pi formula. I'm writing pi. Okay. Pi. Means pi and r. What is r? r is the radius and pi is 22 divided by 7. Right? Yes, sir. Is it or not? Yes. So by which you can calculate the distance. So 2 pi r is the formula that we have to use. Okay. What is the value of 2 pi r? It is 22 divided by 7. So if you will solve, you will get 3.14. How will you get pi equals to how much? 3.14. Yes. Understood. Yeah. Yes. So this is the value for pi. Okay. Three point one four pi u nine two and that much. Okay. But what if two divide by no multiply by three point one four? How much you will get? It is six point two eight. Right. So two eight zero to one eight. Oh yeah yeah two eight two eight two eight. Okay, so six point two eight into radius. Okay, will be the distance traveled by the object, right? Yes, sir. So finally, yes, you can say distance traveled by the object, okay, along with the circular path, is equal to the circumference, and which is equal to six point two eight into radius into generally radius is represented by small r beta okay i have written a capital r but generally it is small r like this 2 pi r easy yes sir yes. but here initial and final point may be may be same so displacement may be zero Okay, displacement may be zero. Understood? Yes. Yes, sir. So now any doubt here in circular motion? No, sir. <clears throat> oh, okay. So just write it down. Along with circular path. Circular path. Okay. Displacement. May be zero. May be zero. What is the condition for that? When initial and final point and final point are same. Understood, beta? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Let me take a screenshot then. OK. 
ओके सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आई एम गोइंग टू राइट नाउ जस्ट हाँ बेटा diameter and diameter is represented by d and d equals to twice of radius okay okay sir now any doubt here no sir okay Okay, what we have next? Do check. Yes. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, sir, one second. Can you show the point again? The last point that you have told. Yes. Uh, yeah thank you sir any doubt now no sir no sir oh. okay we have 9 minutes left okay one have quizzes then 